Supreme Court today took on the issue of race and the question, has affirmative action run its course? The justices are deciding a Texas case here and considering whether colleges and universities can take racial background into account as they decide who to admit. Our justice correspondent Pete Williams with us from the court tonight. Pete, good evening. Brian, three decades ago, in a case called Bakke, the Supreme Court said that the nation's colleges can take a student's race into account during admissions because a more diverse campus provides a better education. Now the question seems to be, how much diversity is enough? Like nearly all American colleges, the University of Texas in Austin strives for racial diversity, but the way it does it was challenged by a white high school senior, Abigail Fisher. A student's race and ethnicity should not be considered when applying to the University of Texas. She says the affirmative action program in Austin kept her out. There were people in my class with lower grades who weren't in all the activities I was in who were being accepted into UT, and the only other difference between us was the color of our skin. She says a state law that guarantees admission to the top 10 percent of Texas high school graduates makes the university racially diverse enough, 29 percent Hispanic and 6 percent black. But the university says considering race as one factor in admitting the rest of the freshmen gets more diversity on campus overall and within minority groups. It's important that students do have the ability to, to see that not all students are the same regardless of their ethnic background or their socioeconomic background. The Supreme Court ruled nine years ago that schools can consider race to get a critical mass of minority students, a decision written by Sandra Day O'Connor, but she has since retired. Today, a majority on a more conservative court seemed to find that too vague. Chief Justice Roberts, what is the logical end point? When will I know that you've reached a critical mass? Justice Alito, does critical mass vary from group to group? Does it vary from state to state? The lawyer for the University of Texas said the school looks at all of a student's accomplishments. We want minorities from different backgrounds, he said. But that prompted Justice Kennedy, likely the critical vote, to respond, so what you're saying is that what counts is race above all. Opponents of affirmative action were hoping that the court would use this case to strike it down. Judging from today's argument, it won't go that far, but it does seem prepared to scale it back. Brian? We'll find out their decision in a couple of months. Pete Williams at the court building for us tonight in Washington. Pete.